Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going, ooh, I'm a little crooked. Okay, today I am going to be filming a, a Valentine's Day tutorial using these three AOA Studio Wonder Baked Eyeshadows. Um, I got those from my friend Roxy. We did kind of like a makeup swap kind of thing and I just really, when I saw these colors, I just thought they would look absolutely beautiful. Uh, for a Valentine's Day look and the colors are rosé, rhubarb, and seashell. So we're going to start off first with priming my eyes and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Eden eyeshadow primer. Um, I did already tight line and do a little bit. I already put my NARS um, larger than life longwear eyeliner in Via Veneto on my tight line and my waterline. Um, I do that off camera because I always find it kind of creepy watching people do it on camera. So I don't want to subject that to you guys, but it's just a black eyeliner. Just put it on your tight line and waterline. And like I said, I'm going to prime my eyes. You can use any eye primer that you want. I'm using the one that's in my sample um, project pan. <coughs> Excuse me. This just really cancels everything on my eye out. I know I already canceled pretty much everything um, because I put concealer on my eyelids as well, but I like to doubly make sure. I tend to get it in my brows though, and I don't like that. So I always go through with a um, spoolie to get everything out of my eyebrows because I find that if I don't do that, my eyebrows just kind of look washed out. And it's not like I need to go in with a pencil or anything. I have plenty of eyebrow hair. I just need to get all the product out of my eyebrow hair. There we go. So that's that. I am just going to touch up the foundation around. All right. So... If at any point during this video, the video seems a little choppy, I'm trying not to cough throughout the entire video. So I am constantly stopping the video. I'm going to set my eyes using the shade Bare in my Lorac Pro Matte Palette. Just to make sure that we don't get any patchiness from these shadows. I've actually haven't used these shadows yet, but I saw them and thought that would be a perfect Valentine's Day tutorial. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just using two colors maybe three from the pro matte palette it's in my it's my pan that palette for the year <sighs> and the two colors i'm using are pretty much the color to Set my eyelid primer and the black. So. All right, so my eyes are set. 
and I'm going to get one of my e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brushes, wipe off any excess product from previous use, and I am going to go in with the shade Rhubarb. So it's this really pretty, like, darker pink color, and I'm going to put that in my crease. Now, because they are baked generally, you use big eyeshadows wet. Because I'm going in the crease first, I want to use it dry just to slowly build it up. I think I still have a little bit of brown. Yeah, I still got a little bit of brown on here, which is fine. Can you see the pink at all? <sighs> yeah, you can see the pink a little bit. It's very, very soft if it's not wet. And right now, I just want the softness to come through. But I feel like more brown is coming through from my previous product. It's not looking too bad. It's not exactly what I had thought of originally, but it's not looking too bad. Trying to build up the color a little slower. Okay, so I am going to go in with this Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush and just kind of blend that out a little bit. And I'm going to go in with the Moda Smudge Brush. And I'm going to pick up some of the same shade in Rhubarb. And I'm going to grab my Smashbox, my, no, not my Smashbox, my MAC Fix Plus. And just wet it a little bit and I'm going to try to really build up that color in the crease oh not what I was expecting I really want like that dark pink aspect but that's not what I'm getting I'm getting more of like a really soft white shimmery color can you see that i don't know i feel like this is kind of going in a different direction than i wanted it to i'll well, just do the same thing to the other eye that way it matches Alright, and 
and I'm gonna go back in and blend that out a little bit. I don't really think it added much color to my look, but that's okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back into the Lorac Pro Matte Palette, and I'm going to add a little bit of Pink Mauve. Just to get some of that color that I'm really looking for. And it's really going to grip. Thanks to the white that I just put down. All right. Once again, I'm going to blend. Actually, I'm gonna blend with the Moda brush because it has like a blending side to it as well. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit more colors from the Lorac Pro Matte than originally planned. That's okay though. Still a Valentine's Day look. Now you don't need to have the Lorac Pro Matte um, in order to do this look. If you have a like cream shade to set your eyeshadow, a like pinky, transition shade a burgundy and a black because that's pretty much what i plan on doing here then you'll be fine the star of the show will most likely be rose and then in the inner corner i'm gonna put seashell rhubarb just wasn't that great so i would not recommend rhubarb okay so I'm gonna go into burgundy a little bit and just start darkening the outer corner. Okay. It's a little bit more chocolatey than I wanted. That's okay. Because it's still burgundy, it's just a little bit more chocolatey than I would have expected it to be. All right, and now I'm going to blend that out. gonna do it to the other eye as well And once again, I'm going to blend. <coughs> I'm trying really hard not to cough on camera for you guys. But 
occasionally it doesn't work. Okay, definitely added more to this eye than I had on this eye. Um, so, I'm just trying to blend it out. A little bit. I think I just... I'm going to grab a tiny, tiny bit, just add it to right there, because I feel like I have it built more on the outer corner over here than I do over here. <coughs> <coughs> Dedication, man. Filming even when I have a cough. All right. And I'm going to add a little bit more to this side just to even out how dark it is. Okay. And like I said, once more, going to blend. So now we're a little bit more even. I am going to do that, do that. Okay. Mess this side up a little tiny bit. Okay, very easy to reblend and fix. All right. Now I'm going to try to open this eyeshadow. There we go. I'm going to take rosé and put that on the inner corner. How I'm going to do that, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. I'm going to get a good amount on there. And then I'm going to put some glitter glue on. I'm going to do this one eye at a time. Put some glitter glue on. I'm going to wet the brush. And I'm going to put it on. Okay, that didn't work. So let's try to use our finger. Why not? Okay, that's a little bit better. So, tip. Use your finger. But that's really pretty. And I'm going to blend. All right, and I'm going to add some more glitter glue to the other side. And add it to 
that side. Really? Can you stop going out of focus? All right. And I am going to once again blend. All right, so I like it, but I think it's a little too peachy. So I think I'm going to try the rhubarb shape again and put it, use my finger and right on top of that like shade, just kind of add, yeah, okay. That's a little bit better. So I did not use these shadows the way I intended to, but they're still getting used. I think that's really pretty. Okay, that actually looks really pretty, those two combined. So rose, so rhubarb, not a bad shade. Just learning with these shadows, you gotta definitely use them with your finger. That's gonna be the best payoff for you. That actually came out really pretty and nice and subtle and romantic. All right, and now I'm just going to take seashell and with my pinky, I'm going to put that right on the inner corner. Just kind of blend with the finger. That's really pretty. Okay. So that's the look. I'm going to put on some mascara and finish off my look and I'll be right back. All right, so I went in, I added my mascara. I added the my highlighter, which I used Holler from the first Ulta and Melissa Michelle palette. My comparison's coming, guys, I promise. So now I am just left with the lips and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Pink Really Hard liquid lipstick and with that hmm, I'm going to use the Rimmel Exaggerate Pink A Punch Lip Liner Let me line my lips. Oh, that's definitely bright.
that's really bright compared to um, the catsuit liquid lipstick. So I'm going to fill it in. Ugh. Cool. I'm not sure where that went. So I'm gonna... Fill in my lips. That way when I do the liquid lipstick, it's all even. Punch. Not pink a punch. Think really hard. That looks a little ridiculous. That's okay. So that's the look. Um, I wasn't expecting to have such a pink lip. In fact, it's actually a little uneven. But I do think that it looks good. I just think because I wasn't expecting it to be so pink, that is just kind of shocking to me. So that's it for this Valentine's Day tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I think it's just real. I think the eyes are just really pretty and romantic and then the lips bring like a nice pop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what your Valentine's Day plans are. And subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload and I will see you guys later. Bye.